Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here, and today we are going to be overclocking this 1660 by gigabyte for Ethereum mining. So let me just put you down on the table here so that you can see what I'm seeing on the screen. And let's get started. So first let's just open up MSI Afterburner. And the very first thing I always do is I always take the fan off of auto and I put it to 80%. And we can hear the fan revving up there. So now I'm gonna start my miner, which is I'm gonna be using T-Rex. And while that starts up, I'm going to be talking about the three things you need to keep in mind for overclocking. So the first thing is that, you know, overclocking is done at your own risk. We're doing things to these cards that the manufacturer did not intend for us to do. So just keep that in mind. It's at your own risk. Number two is you have to keep in mind that each card is unique. So I might find some numbers here that work for me. That doesn't necessarily mean that those numbers will work for you, even though you might have the exact same version of the exact same card. So just keep that in mind. Each card is unique and individual. And the third thing is that when I overclock, I try to just optimize for the highest stable hash rate. So I don't overclock to find the most efficient settings where I'm getting the most hash per watt. I'm just trying to get the highest possible hash rate without it crashing or getting rejected chairs, of course. So with those three things in mind, let's start overclocking. Okay, so we seem to be at around 21.03 mega hash a second. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna slam the memory clock all the way down to negative 502 to see what happens and immediately I can see that we crashed so that's good to know <laughs> is it gonna do anything I think we're gonna get a blue screen guys because this is not doing much of anything at all there it is all right so I'm just gonna bring this system back up and I'll see you back here in a minute all right and we're back and mining that was a stupid idea, huh? <laughs> All right, let's uh, start by uh, increasing the memory clock instead. So what I usually do is I start by doing big jumps and then I start taking smaller, more incremental jumps from there. So let's start by putting 500 on our memory clock just to see what happens. So we're currently around 21 mega hash a second. And let's see where this plus 500 on the memory clock gets us to. All right, so that seems to have settled now at around 23.9 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna start doing smaller but faster jumps on the memory clock now. So I'm gonna go 550, see if it's all good there or if we get a crash. I'm just gonna give it about a minute or so and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, that seems to be fine too. So let's try 600. That seems to be all good too, so let's try 650. And that seems to be all good too, so let's try 700. That seems fine as well, so let's try 750. All right, and we had a crash at 750. So I'm gonna put it back to 700 and we're gonna leave it there. And we're gonna see if it's stable there. But what I'm gonna do is, since we had kind of a hard crash there, is I'm going to quit the miner. And I'm gonna restart MSI Afterburner as well. All right, so it seems that I pushed it a little bit too far. So I've pulled the mem clock down to plus 650 now, and it seems to be stable there. We're getting around 24.74 mega hash per second. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving our core clock instead. So I'm gonna start by going down. So I'll go negative 200 
and I'm gonna see if that does anything. So remember we were at 24.72-ish. All right, so we didn't seem to lose any hash rate by going negative 200. We're at 24.73 mega hash a second now. So I'm gonna try to go plus 200 instead. And let's see if that does anything. Yeah, so that didn't seem to do very much of anything either. We're still at 24.74 mega hash a second. The only thing is I've seen our power consumption has gone up a little bit from doing that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go negative 300. I'm gonna start going down instead and we'll see once we get a drop off in hash rate. Yeah, we're still at 24.73, so let's go minus 400. All right, so hash rate is holding steady. We're at 24.72 mega hash now, and I think we can go a little bit lower on the core clock still. So let's go all the way down to negative 502 on the core clock, and let's see what happens. Yeah, we're holding steady at 24.72 mega hash a second. So that's our core clock turned all the way down without negatively affecting our hash rate at all. And let's see how much power we gained by doing that. So currently we're at 106 watts, 105 watts on the wall. And let's put it back to plus 200. And let's just see how much more power that would pull just to get the same hash rate. All right, so that jumped us up to around 112 watts. So yeah, we're, we're gaining around seven, eight watts without taking much of a hit at all when it comes to hash rates. Just by lowering our core clock all the way down. So sticking to the theme of lowering our power consumption on this card, let's move on to our power limit now. So it is currently at 100%, so I'm going to lower it to 90% and let's see what happens. So we're still at around 105 watts on the wall and we're still at around 24.71 mega hash a second. So I'm gonna lower the power limit further. Let's try 80%. So we're still at 105 watts on the wall. Let's see if that did anything to our hash rate. No, still at 24.72 mega hash per second. So let's try 70% power limit. Let's have a look on the wall. Still at 105 watts. But what about our hash rate? All right, so hash rate seems to be holding steady at 24.72 still. So let's try 60% power limit. All right, so that brought it down to 94 watts at the wall. Keep in mind that that's including the whole computer, not just the GPU. We seem to be holding strong at 24.72 mega hash. Yeah, 24.73 mega hash now even. So, I mean, yeah, let's go 50% power limit. All right, so I've lowered the power limit as low as it goes to 53%. We're pulling around 87 watts at the wall and the hash rate is holding steady at 24.72 mega hash per second. So I'm just gonna call it there. Those are the settings for me today. Um, so to wrap up, that's 53% power limit, negative 502 on core clock, and plus 650 on the memory clock. Hey, so I was just editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention that, of course, after you've overclocked your um, card and you're happy with your settings, what you should always do is, you know, just let it run on those settings for, you know, a day, uh, two days, a week, and just look for, you know, is it getting the odd rejected share here and there? Is it crashing? And then adjust your settings down as applicable to that. And also, do you have a version of this card? If so, please leave your overclocking settings down in the comments and we could sort of build up a little database of, you know, uh, overclock settings. So that's it. Now back to the rest of the video. That'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate if you would give the video one of these. It really helps out and it means a lot to me. As well, if you want to see more mining videos like this, you could subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more coming up very soon. So until the next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.